The Frontier Home Tech Support Show is brought to you by Be Connected. There's never been a better time to get online. and welcome to the show in this episode we are going to show you how to sign into your mygov account and uh, link a service so let's have a look welcome to how to sign into mygov and link a service mygov is a website that provides access to many government services from the one place using just an email address and password. To get the most from a MyGov account, you need to link it to the government services you want to use. In this video, Julie is going to link the Medicare service to her MyGov account, so she can use her computer to claim a refund for medical services. To get started, Julie types my.gov.au into her computer's web browser. Once the sign-in screen appears, she enters the email address she used when she created her MyGov account. Then, she enters the unique password she created for her MyGov account. To check that it's really Julie signing in, MyGov will send a unique code to the mobile phone number she provided when she set up her account. Julie types the code into MyGov to prove her identity. If she types it incorrectly, she won't be able to continue to the next step, so she enters each number carefully. Now that Julie has successfully signed in to her MyGov account, she's ready to link the services she wants to use. She clicks the Services menu at the top of her MyGov homepage to see the options. From the list of services, she chooses Medicare. She enters her Medicare number exactly. Along with her reference number. That's the number next to her name on the card. To be certain of Julie's identity, MyGov now wants her to confirm some information she has given Medicare in the past. Julie types her full name, date of birth, and her address. She provides the date of a recent doctor's appointment and confirms the banking details recorded with Medicare so that refunds can go to the right account. And that's it! Medicare is linked to Julie's MyGov account ready for when she wants to process a claim online. Julie can now link more services to her MyGov account.
or end her session safely by clicking the Sign Out button. So let's have a look at the tutorial on the Be Connected website, which tells us all about linking your Medicare account to MyGov. This activity will take you step by step through linking your Medicare account to your MyGov account. To follow along, you'll need your Medicare card handy so you can enter your Medicare number when prompted. Sign into MyGov. To link a service, first go to www.my.gov.au using the web browser on your computer. Sign into MyGov by entering your email and password, followed by the code that MyGov sends you via text message to your mobile phone. Once you've successfully signed in, your MyGov main page appears and you're ready to continue. So it's important to note here that it uh, is best to do this on a computer because you'll need your phone for verification codes and bits and pieces. Choose services. Look at the top menu for the option called services. Click on it and you'll be taken to the services page. We're going to link your Medicare account. So find Medicare in the list under link a service and click it to continue. E-safety tip. Once you've decided to link your Medicare account to your MyGov, you'll be reminded that MyGov will store the legal name and date of birth that is on your current Medicare service. It's safe for MyGov to do this, so you can click I agree to continue. Linking Medicare first steps. The simplest way to link your Medicare account to MyGov is to use your Medicare card and some other personal information. Click on, I do not have an online account with Medicare to continue. Enter details and answer questions. MyGov will now ask you your Medicare card details. Be careful to enter your Medicare number exactly and if you have more than one person on the card, enter your individual reference number too. That's the number next to your name. MyGov will then ask you a few questions about your recent Medicare history, just to make certain it's really you. Once you've entered these details and you're ready to move on, click the next button. Enter your address details. Finally, MyGovs asks you to confirm your address. This is for your safety and security, and it's safe to give MyGov this information. Fill in all the address details and then click next to finish linking Medicare to your MyGov account. Check that everything worked. To confirm you've successfully linked your Medicare, MyGov will now show you a final screen so that you can check that your details were added correctly. As well as confirming your Medicare account is now linked to MyGov, you'll also see a note saying that your legal name and date of birth have been added to your MyGov account. Link more services. You can now use MyGov to process Medicare claims and more. There are many other government services you can link to your MyGov account and the process will be similar to the steps above for Medicare. Simply click on the service name from the list on the services page and follow the step-by-step -step instructions. Yes, we've reached the end of the activity of uh, linking services to MyGov. So you saw how to sign in and how to link your Medicare account and a bit of an insight into how you can link your other accounts and how the MyGov service is safe to use and convenient for linking other government services. So hopefully that was useful to you.
Remember, you can always come back to the Be Connected website to redo these courses and do other courses that are relevant to these ones and also courses about anything that you want to learn about being connected and staying online. So thanks once again for watching. I look forward to showing you some other great things on the Be Connected website very soon. Bye for now. The Frontier Home Tech Support Show is brought to you by Be Connected. There's never been a better time to get online.